I'm Rick Drayson, Ambassador for Old School Labs, and I wanted to talk about first-time competitors because I've had people come to me that want to compete. I see them in the gym all the time, they're working out hard, they're flexing in the mirror, and they're getting ready to do a show. Now, the majority of them aren't ready, and I'm not saying that to be cruel, but they don't really look at what they're looking at. They think they flex a couple of times, the muscle pops up, they can go into a show. But when you're on stage, you're critiqued to the max. Every muscle has to show, every cut has to show. You can't have any body fat, you gotta be shredded, you gotta be balanced out, and you have to have symmetry, and it all plays in. Then your posing is a huge part of it, because posing has to be done artistically, where every muscle shows. If you're flexing your bicep and you're a twisted uh, uh, arm pose, you have to flex your calf behind you too, because it's a whole line of your body. So people don't realize that. You gotta put your time into the posing, you gotta put your time into the diet for sure, you have to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. Don't go by the scale. The scale doesn't mean anything. You might say, oh, I lost 20 pounds. You might be lose 20 pounds. You might still be fat. So the first time out, take your time, look in the mirror, and don't go into a competition until you're ready. Don't just do it because you want to do it because the, um, there's no such thing as a second chance on the opinion. If they see you the first time and they don't like you, I don't know about second chances. It's not the same thing the second time around. And as you come back and you're really unbelievable. But this, if you are good and you do well, even if it's first, second, or third, this will inspire you to move on, and then you'll move on to the next level. But make sure that you really check yourself out and that you have everything that people want to see. I say the same thing with wrestlers when I train them in the ring. Make sure when you get in that ring you know what you're doing, that you look good, you got the charisma, and you got the talent, and you can relate to the audience, and you can tell a story, because if you get out there and you do a lockup with the guy in the ring and you fall flat, people are gonna boo you and they'll never want to see you again. It's the same thing on a bodybuilding stage. You need to make a good first impression because you may not have a second. This was a thought that came to me that I used to do years ago. When I was on the road wrestling, I used to hit different gyms because I was in different cities. I'd find gyms around town, I'd go in and I'd hit a body part. And every time I'd go in, there'd be something a little bit different. The machine wasn't the same as the, the other gym. The dumbbells felt a little bit different. Everything was a, a little different than the gym I'd been to prior. So I had to adjust my workout accordingly in order to get through the workout and feel comfortable with it. However, it was a good thing because it would hit my body differently and I would get results out of it. So changing your workout up or going to different gyms sometimes will inspire you to move forward because it's a whole new game for you and you'll enjoy it. Mostly all gyms are the same, but the weights always feel different. They're marked differently. The pull-down machines are different. Now, what, what people don't understand, on a pull-down machine with a cable and pulleys, the pulleys are like, um, they're like gears in a car, there's ratios. If you have a big pulley and a small pulley, it's gonna have a different gear ratio than it would if it was a big pulley and a big pulley. This is how cars work too, that's why you have a low gear and a high gear. So when you go to a gym and you're pulling a machine that has a cable, and say, God, 100 pounds on here is so much easier than 100 pounds on there. It's not you, it's the pulleys and the ratio of them. There are different sizes. Someone never understood that and I explained that in the gym and they said, oh my God, now I get it. This is why it's so hard for me. It's not you, it's the machine, and that's just the way it's built. So my suggestion is if you have time and you can get around a bit, hit a couple of different gyms. Get a different feel for it, you meet different people, get a different workout, and you'll probably make some good results. When you get ready to compete in competition, I've said this before, you need to practice your posing. What you display on stage is what people see. If you go out to a restaurant and you see a menu and the food is displayed prof uh, properly, you'll want to eat it. You'll say, oh man, that looks so good, I'm going to eat it. If they display their bodies on stage and look good, you're going to say, that looks good. If the poses are off, I've seen so many angles that look so awkward that I don't know why they're doing that pose. There's a few poses today that are mandatory and they look ridiculous to me. I've never seen those before back in the day. So have somebody help you. Your, your eye is one thing, but you need a person who knows how to pose to guide you through it and make sure you look good from top to bottom that you're twisted properly, that your legs in a proposition, your toes are pointed properly, your hands are pointed properly, tuck your thumbs in when you pose, thumbs sticking out are detracting from your body because they look like you're pointing somewhere. That was an old Bill Pearl trick. And make sure that uh, everything is symmetrical and that we don't, don't do a pose that you don't look good at. Do only those that you feel comfortable with and stick with that. Because if you throw one in there that's wrong, that's the one they see. And that's the one they'll point out to you and you don't want that. So work on it. And the other thing about posing, if you pose every night for about 15, 20 minutes in the mirror, it makes your muscles sharper. It's like an isometric or it's like yoga. You all get more defined, your muscles get harder and sharper just from the posing alone. It's a lot of work. 
It's almost harder than your regular workout, but you got to do it every night, every, without fail, or after your workout, without fail. You'll see a big difference in a month if you do that. I'm Rick Grayson, Old School Labs Ambassador, and that's my advice to you.